What's up everybody, Mr. OG Games here. And today, I'm sharing with you the path that I chose after getting my first barracks to level 34. Uh, I debated in my head, also in the OG Nation chat, on what I should do. What's the best thing to do? So, after a few weeks of saving as a write-up, I have decided, and it was a tough one too, it, it, this is the one that really just makes the most sense for me anyway, uh, because I'm looking to, I'm a ways away from 35, uh, let's face it, so I decided to go ahead and use the Azerite saved up to go ahead and upgrade, upgrade the drill grounds choice being the drill grounds because I want that little bit bigger of a march to make that little bit of difference when attacking or defending uh, events you know hidden monsters and so forth I wanted that little bit more uh, attack march size all of that comes with it because that's in, in my in my opinion that's that's what I need at this point um, I debated on taking another barracks to 34 uh, which I could have uh, because I I had enough as a right to get through the first few levels for sure and it would have taken me probably another week or two max before I could have got another one at 34 but I can, with the new drill grounds being higher, I can still just pump out the T11s on one barrack for right now and just speed them up as needed. And yeah, I mean, that's that's the avenue that I took. Um, I had a lot of people telling me, hey, you should go for more barracks. Get two barracks or three barracks to 34. I had a lot of people uh, agreeing with me saying go drill grounds drill grounds so and I even had some people say save the Azerite start leveling up the castle or not the castle the hospital uh, and then the wall then the castle but honestly I mean the amount of Azerite needed to get to level 35 castle is just crazy and I'm gonna be a long 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 time before I ever get to that point so I need to get stronger now and if I were just to wait and wait and wait to get the Azerite needed for 35 <clears throat> not to mention the hospitals and the wall I mean I, I would be that would be defeating the purpose I want to have the maximum march size I can have now and not to mention I want to have the max amount of T11s to also put them in my march uh, so it was a tough choice I'm just going to show you here it did increase me <clears throat> uh, not a whole lot but enough it was enough to where I could step up and add I think it was 7400 uh, troops total this is just one of my settings for one particular uh, event that I do uh, I've shared them in the past with you and I think I'm gonna share them again here in the future with you because as you can see right now I'm using still primarily t10s and <clears throat> it would be I, I, I'm kind of torn actually and if you guys want to leave me some thoughts and comments uh, you know down below so I can uh, hear your input on it but the t11s that I do have I'm trying to build them up infantry and archers right now that was the path that I chose sticking with the archers and uh, I, I don't have enough to benefit yes it would benefit it but it wouldn't stack properly uh, you know it wouldn't line up the way I wanted it to on the battlefield so my personal choice is I've been holding on it uh, for a little while until I can get enough t11s to make either a full t11 march or make it uh, at least three quarters of my march so that way the line will be proper 
uh, when you you know when you fight uh, enemies on the battlefield. Uh, so leave me your thoughts below. I'd like to know what you guys think. Uh, right now, I think I'm about 25k infantry, 25k archers, give or take a few. Uh, I'm stepping them up equally. Uh, so yeah, let me know your thoughts. I, I would be interested to hear if you would incorporate the T11s now, or do you agree with me and kind of wait until I at least get three quarters of my March T11 so that way it balances out a little better. <clears throat> so, but that's the direction that I took, leveling up the drill grounds. I don't know where I'm gonna go from here, but I'm sure you guys will give me much, much feedback and let me know. But as always, if you guys like the video, smash the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, y'all keep gaming and I'll see you in the next one.